and at the end of it, one farmer will co-own a farm with an investor. Bang, that's big. Uh, we are unpacking. Sam Marwood here from Cultivate Farms and welcome to episode 72 of Cultivate Farms TV. Uh, this week we go through a weekly update of uh, what's happened in the past week, some uh, little tidbits here and there. Uh, we talk about how it's never going to be easier than right now to find your farm. Uh, we talk about BYO, farm ownership opportunity, get out there and find your farm. Uh, feedback from one of our farmers, uh, aha moments we're getting from aspiring farmers, a shout out and a, and a call to action around setting up nation wide farmer Friday frothies uh, we have a new farm ownership opportunity and 25 farms sitting on our website ready for you to click and own welcome uh, the purpose of these updates is to get you inspired to keep um, going with your farm ownership dreams it is absolutely possible we're talking to farmers all over the country who want to get onto farms and finding ways for that to happen talking to retiring farmers who want to back you as aspiring farmers and there are even people with money who want to back you onto a farm. Uh, so it's possible, get inspired. And that's one of these updates is, is to keep you going. Uh, we want you to be inspired. We get feedback all the time that people love tuning in uh, via YouTube, Facebook, or even on podcasts. We're trying to get on as many platforms that you're on to make it as easy as possible for you to be inspired to follow your dreams. It's possible, uh, let's make it happen. So, uh, as we do every week, an update on number of members. We have 705 aspiring farmers on our database from all over Australia. So, thank you so much to everyone who has signed up. Uh, that is uh, 15 more since the last time we did our update. Uh, please do jump on. If you haven't, there's free membership. There's premium, which we'd love you to do, but there's free membership. Get on there. If you're not on there, we can't send you farm ownership opportunities, and that's a tragedy. Uh, why we want you to pay is so we can keep the doors open, so we can keep finding opportunities. It takes time to find these farms. It takes time to build trust. We need you as aspiring farmers to back us to find you your farm dream. It's not going to happen overnight, and that's why you as the ones who want this the most, please continue to support us. Sign up. It's $150 a year. That's nothing. That's what one coffee a week that you are sacrificing. Uh, please do think about signing up. We we want we want you. Uh, there's heaps of other perks that uh, gives you way more value than $150. So uh, please do think about signing up. So a weekly update. Uh, Cultivator, so the program where we're going to uh, incubate 10 farmers over six months, and at the end of it, one farmer will co-own a farm with an investor. Bang, that's big. Uh, we are unpacking that. We're finalising the details. We're trying to get a few corporate sponsors. So any corporates out there who uh, want to be part of a world first. Uh, inspirational project please please get in touch to help us uh, reduce the cost for those 10 farmers we are on the hunt for those farmers who want to be part of this if this sounds like you you're ready to pitch uh, and being part of a program over six months is, is you please do get in touch it's gonna be around four thousand dollars so that'd be the maximum you have to pay over six months uh, we're trying to get that down but register please if this is of interest uh, we are finding more investors. The conversations are really exciting across the country. We're, we're getting our foot in the door with people who, who buy farms and want to buy farms and like our models. So we're building relationships there. That takes time, but just letting you know those conversations are continually happening uh, and looking forward to the day when we can reveal those uh, opportunities for you guys. Uh, regional matchmaker. We spoke to a guy up in, uh, in Northern Australia who loves the idea of becoming a regional matchmaker of finding the aspiring farmers, finding retiring farmers and being that geographical uh, or the hub for that, that geographical area uh, of matchmaking. We love that concept. We want to unpack that further. And uh, we only just started thinking about it. I've had it in the back of our minds for a while, but it's so good to have someone ready. So if that interests you, if you're not going to farm yourself, but want to be a matchmaker, please get in touch. Actually, even if you want to own a farm, being a matchmaker is a great way to get your face out there and find your own opportunities by helping others find their opportunities. Uh, I think it's a ripper of an idea, but uh, please reach out. We'll uh, we'll keep unpacking that more and promote that a bit more. And then we've got a premium member webinar tonight. Once a month, we hold webinars, uh, just unpack and go into real detail around what's happening and unpack uh, aspiring farmers' uh, op opportunities uh, with us and with with everyone else in the webinar. That's for premium members only. So another reason why we want you to sign up. We're trying to find as much value. Claire Coates from Freeland Pork, our first farmer. Uh, with Mark, uh, who we've matched with an uh, investor, is coming tonight. She's going to unpack her whole journey, uh, how uh, how 
exciting it was for her, how nervous she was doing it, uh, so you guys can learn. So please, uh, there's still some spots available if you want to join in uh, tonight. It will never be easier than now for you to find your farm ownership opportunity. We're always telling our aspiring farmers to get out there and build re relationships with retiring farmers uh, because one of them, one of those hundred that you contact and reach out to and build relationships might be willing to back you onto their farm. But I've been reflecting on this recently that this is the message we constantly relay and every week we're pretty much saying the same message, get out there and find retiring farmers. That's why we think now is the best time ever because you think about this in five years time, everybody is going to be out there uh, hunting retiring farmers and building relationships with retiring farmers. You're probably the only one in your district at the moment trying to do that or thinking about doing that or doing it. Uh, but in the future, this is going to be normal. Uh, so I think about um, stories of Google AdWords when they first started about 10 years ago. Uh, if you bought them, you would have had one cent clicks uh, through to get attention. Now they're probably at dollar, two dollar, three dollars, five dollars a click. Right now we're at the one cent click opportunity for you for retiring farmers. It is so, uh, there is no competition out there for you to find these retiring farmers. I want you to grasp that thought and think about it. what are you doing over the next day, year, two years to get yourself in front of as many retiring farmers because soon retiring farmers are going to have a register so they don't have to deal with the hundred couples who have come to them uh, and approach them and uh, to get onto their farm. Your handwritten letter that you're writing right now to these farmers and putting in their letterbox to get their attention, which works really well, uh, they'll be filing that alongside the other 68 uh, letters that they've received that month. Um, now is the best time for you to get in front of these retiring farmers, to tell your story, to say how much you love their farm, how much you want to get farming and how much you'd love to be able to farm with them because uh, you are going to have a lot of competition come five years' time. Uh, so I just want to encourage you. Uh, I want to be historically correct. I think I will be. Uh, when this video is played back in the future, people will go, he was right. He was right. It's so hard now to compete. There's so many other people competing. Um, now is the easiest time for you to get onto your farm. So what are you doing? Stop watching, get out there and start hunting. Um, we want you to succeed and get on your farm. BYO farm ownership opportunity. The best way for you to get on your farm is for you to bring your own farm ownership opportunity. Uh, we're talking to every day to aspiring farmers who say, hey, um, my parents might want to give me the farm or I found a next door neighbor who might want to give me a farm or I've managed to build a relationship with a retiring farmer or I just rocked up one day and asked this farmer for the farm and the main message here is they, uh, the farmer, the owner said, hey, I will, uh, you've got the farm if you can bring me the money. That is the sentence you want from a retiring farmer. You don't have to worry about how that's going to unfold or the, the details or et cetera. You just need to get a farmer, a retirement age farmer to say to you, you have the first right to buy this farm and I'll give you six months, hopefully more, to buy it. Those are the words you need. Uh, do not worry about the details because we can help you with that and there's plenty of advisors across Australia who can help you with the details of how you can get the money, how you can sell a vendor deal, uh, et cetera. But this is your goal as an aspiring farmer is to bring your own ownership opportunity. If you don't have that ownership opportunity, uh, it's just hard work and your goal should be to find it. Uh, you should be breathing uh, farm ownership strategies to, to get in front of these farmers who can, can back you. Having, having a farm to talk about is the goal. Uh, you can work backwards from there. Um, but that's, I guess, is the, is the, the ticket for you aspiring farmers, uh, get one, get two, would be even better aspiring, a retiring farmers willing to, to back you. Uh, and we're here to help as well. So uh, please get use this to get you motivated to know that's your goal. You want people to say the farm is yours, now go find a way to make it happen. Uh, and that's what we want you to say. And that's what a lot of farmers are bringing us, which is exciting. There's all these arrangements working in the background to build these relationships and find uh, solutions. So please get out there and find your farm. Uh, feedback from one of our farmers. And it's always encouraging to, to get feedback from our aspiring farmers. Uh, we're battling every day trying to find opportunities. Uh, and it's nice just to hear some really good feedback. And it's, it's not so much um, to brag or anything around why I want to read this out, but it's more to inspire other aspiring farmers out there uh, that we're, we're onto something here. Um, and we want to encourage you to follow your dreams. So I'll just read this out um, and I, I was just really encouraging for me and I thought it would be useful for you guys to hear it as well. So 
Uh, I won't say who it's from, but uh, I'll, I'll read it out. I really want to say thank you for the work you're doing with Cultivate Farms. We've been working on this mission for a few years now and you've opened our eyes to more ways we can be trying to get on a farm. It's so refreshing seeing you speak positively about the possibilities of farm ownership for people who aren't inheriting land. Your attitude is the opposite of so many naysayers we've spoken to and your optimism is super encouraging. I am very positive. Uh, I think that's just my nature, but I think that's the way you should be as well. You've got to be positive. No one wants to back a uh, Debbie Downer. Uh, you need to be positive. We know and we're working through them. We've seen it. We've, we've made matches. It is possible for you to own a farm. And that's, I guess, why we're doing this every week, updating you. And that's why we started this business is to keep you inspired to follow your dreams and put in the hard work to make it happen. Um, so yeah, no, no, there are other farmers getting inspired by what we're doing. We want you to be inspired. We want you to spread the word also about what we're doing. The more people know about this, the more conversations happen and the more opportunities will come, uh, which could equal your farm opportunity. Plus it just makes it easier. If, if others have heard about what we're doing and you're talking about us, it, you can cut through all, all the crap and just go straight to, okay, uh, what are you thinking about your farm? Are you, are you willing to uh, share with kids that aren't your own? Um, so yeah, thank you for that feedback. We love other feedback. We love any negative feedback as well. Um, we're here to try and figure out how best to serve you. Uh, aha moments from aspiring farmers. So we are regularly catching up with our aspiring farmer premium members. So we work through farm ownership pathway plans specific tailored to, to you as a, as a farmer and as a person. Um, and every time we're getting, they don't necessarily say aha, uh -huh, but you can hear the, the penny drop when we're talking to um, our members that um, there is a pathway or they haven't been, there's a cloudy fog in their mind around how they're gonna own their farm. Uh, but there's that point where they go, oh, oh, I see, I see how this can happen. Uh, and we're trying to unpack what those are, but mostly they're about building a new or, or building, strengthening a, a relationship with someone who either has a farm is a like-minded farmer, a friend or a connection who is well connected. There's something around a, a relationship that um, we're able to shine some light on and say, maybe this person is the one you should be talking to who could back you onto your farm. Um, that's, I guess, the purpose of our catch-up is to figure out what are all the irons you have in what fires you've got uh, and to go, oh, maybe that is the person or that is the pathway that you should follow for the next few months or next year. Uh, that's the relationship you should build. These are the sort of things you could say to get this conversation going with a retiring farmer who uh, are working on a farm next door to. Um, it's a lot of this just talking, unpacking your vision, unpacking the connections you have, and then just working backwards from going, oh, well, this person has a farm. This person needs a worker. Could you be more than just a worker to them? What value can you offer them? Uh, do you get the vibe that they would be someone who'd want to back you onto the farm? Uh, do you never want to work with them ever so you should take them off the list? Those sort of discussions are the ones that happen. But, but you know, those aha moments are, aha, uh -huh, that's the person who I can talk to who gets what I'm trying to do and sees my vision and someone who could actually help me onto my farm. Uh, they're the moments we want you to have uh, and you can get them yourself and you figure it out yourself and watch all the content, which is fantastic. But also we can work with you uh, to find those aha moments, sign up as a premium member uh, we want you and we, we want you and need your support as well to keep us going. Nationwide Farmer Friday frothy events. Uh, if you can say that fast, you're in. We, we want to roll out uh, these Farmer Friday frothies, which we hold in Kyneton in Victoria, which is where I, I live. And uh, so central Victoria, every, uh, the last Friday, every month, along with Melissa Connors, who's the founder of This Farm Needs a Farmer. We've got very similar businesses. Uh, we're joining forces and we just get together at a pub in Kyneton and have an open call to anyone just to rock up, any aspiring farmers, retiring farmers. We haven't had any investors yet. We've had the mayor come along, but it's a great way just to get people to, together for a couple of hours to talk. There was no agenda. It's just purely people chatting and discussing opportunities and discussing their dreams. And from that, doors open. And that's why we think it's a really great idea to replicate this across Australia. So if you love the idea of setting these up, we'll promote it with you. We'll help you do all the paraphernalia and promotions online. But we'd love the idea of, of, of working with someone to have coordinated monthly uh, events. We can't do it ourselves because we're physically not everywhere in Australia. But if that is you, please reach out. Um, they're super easy. You just book the venue. In fact, you don't even book it. You just rock up and the pub loves you because they, they want customers. And, and that's it. 
uh, you can say good day to people as they arrive. Uh, but you, as an aspiring farmer, it could be a great strategy for you, particularly, again, to get your name out there, that you are an aspiring farmer, you're going to own a farm one day, and look at the get up and go you have that you're organising these events. So please, let us know if of interest. We have a new farm opportunity. This is 640 acres in Murrayville, Victoria, out west, right on the border with South Australia. Uh, it's in conjunction with Eco Real Estate, uh, and uh, so that, it's a sale, which is a little bit different, but the value is probably the level that I think some of our aspiring farmers can afford. And we know it's a, it is a fair way away, uh, but it could be an opportunity for, for you as an aspiring farmer to build up your equity, to have a crack at farming. Uh, the interesting thing is there is a, uh, a shop front and a, a building itself available, which uh, could be a complement to the farm itself. There's lots of different ideas around what you can do on this farm. Uh, it's close to Murrayville. Uh, it's all ready to go. Um, Check out all the details there, but just we we thought it was a really interesting one, so much so that we wanted to work with Eco Real Estate to promote this to get you thinking that um, maybe you can finance yourself onto a farm. This is not a ridiculous price; it's probably the size you can make money off. Maybe you need an off-farm income. Uh, maybe you've got a job online, so you can uh, you can live anywhere. But just wonder if it's not for you. Even just have a look at it and think about it, and start and encouraging you also. Are you on? Uh, realestate.com.au or domain uh, and savings farm farm opportunities and getting the eye in because they never know what opportunities are out there that you could you could grab and could be yours and 25 farm ownerships sitting on our website ready for you to click right now retiring farmers who get it they get the need to uh, work with the next gen farmers and they want to share ownership uh, I don't know what else we can do to make it easier for you as aspiring farmers to sign up. Um, there are probably lots of things you need to think about. There are no doubt lots of things you need to think about. But if you want opportunities that are sitting there right now, if you're willing to travel uh, and get your foot in the door and build equity onto great farms with farmers who are willing to stay on and share their knowledge and their wealth with you, uh, you should stop right now, get clicking and find these farms. If they're not for you, please share them. We need these farms matched. The more matches we make, the more momentum we create, the more farms will come on the database, the more opportunities you have of realizing your dream. Gang, that is it for this week. Uh, we are pumped for you. Uh, we want you to get on your farm. Be inspired that it's possible. Sign up if you see any value in that. Spread the word around what we're doing. Big things are coming. And uh, we thank you for your attention. Uh, and let's get you on your farm. Mm -hmm.